Hello and welcome to C-Touch Training. The following video is an instructional guide on correctly setting up the C-Touch camera system. Let's get started. First, remove the camera from overnight storage and place near the pool. Visually inspect the housing to check for any signs of damage or corrosion. Pay close attention to the gasket seal and TTL flash connection. Check the dome lens for scratches. Open the battery compartment on the first strobe and insert fresh batteries. Ensure the gasket seal on the window is clean and free of debris. Replace the door back on the strobe and tighten all the way. Repeat for the second strobe. Insert the 8-pin power connection into the 8-pin power bulkhead located on the back of the camera. Take note of the pin placement when connecting. The plug will only fit one way and should not take much force to connect completely. Once fitted, flush to the bulkhead, thread in the locking sleeve. Do not over tighten or apply torque to the locking sleeve or the bulkhead connection. Doing so can result in power interruption or damage to the camera. After the power cable is inserted, turn on the surge protector. Plug in and power on the laptop and second monitor. Connect all necessary cables as specified in your training manual. Using the rotating switch on the top of the housing, turn the camera's power on. There should be information displayed on the top LCD screen. If it is blank, the camera is not receiving power. Set both strobes to the TTL setting. A red light should come on to indicate that the strobes are ready to fire. Format the memory card by pressing the menu button on the back of the camera. Navigate to Format Memory Card and select Slot 1, then Yes to confirm. Navigate to the Wi-Fi settings and select Enable to start transmission of the camera's Wi-Fi signal. Open your Wi-Fi options on the laptop and select Nikon to connect to. Start the camera control program by clicking the C-Touch camera icon. Connect to the camera by clicking the Nikon button at the top. Live view should start automatically. Click and hold the camera icon until it turns red. Camera must be read to send photos from the camera to the C-Touch folder on the laptop. Open the C-Touch Images folder. Arrange the window so the numbered photos can be seen as they download from the camera without blocking the view of the camera control window. Open the Image Viewer program on the second monitor. Click Options and select Hot Folder. Confirm it says C-Touch in the box. Click Start. Turn the mouse on and take a photo by clicking the wheel. Ensure both flashes go off and the photo shows up in the C-Touch folder and pops up on the second monitor. On the Image Viewer screen, select View. Click on Full Screen. Click on the Camera Control screen and take another photo with the mouse. Ensure the picture pops up in the C-Touch folder and on the second monitor. In the Camera Control screen, click the Settings icon, then the Tools icon, then reset the counter at the bottom. This will start the file names back to 1. Delete any leftover images from the C-Touch folder. Turn the laptop so that the screen is viewable from the pool. Then, carefully place the camera into the designated location in the pool. Refer to your printed setup guide for the exact positioning and measurements from pool wall. Adjust the camera height so that the water level is just below center of the dome lens. Position your strobes according to the specifics in your printed guide. Check the live view on the camera control screen to ensure that the camera is centered and level for the best picture quality. Arrange the power cable so that it can be concealed under the floor substrate and looks tidy. Do not leave extra slack in the cable that an animal could potentially get tangled in. Remember that the safety of yourself, the guests, and the animals is the top priority. Return the laptop to its regular position and clean any drips that may have formed on the dome lens. It is imperative that the lens be kept as clean as possible throughout the day. Your C-Touch system is now ready for use.